What's going on, guys? It's Chris from Triple Helix Gaming. Um, back and just bringing another commentary today. This one's going to change it up a little bit. Um, topic for today is just going to kind of be venturing outside the assault rifles. It's uh, something I want to talk about. I think it's very pertinent to, to this game. Um, when I started playing this game for the first time, um, I got it at midnight release, came home, you know, instantly started playing it. Uh, obviously, I started, like probably a lot of people, with the assault class. Which is, you know, as my first soldier, I picked assault, and then you get, you know, all this, the perks and um, the weapons that go with assault, and just kind of by default, you you have a tendency to move towards the assault rifles. The thing about this game is that there is like a horrendous imbalance between the power of the assault rifles and the power of the other guns. So, say for example, like the shotguns or the SMGs. Um, I feel there's a time and a place that they can be used. For example, you'll see this gameplay is actually going to be a shotgun uh, gameplay. It's a 30 and 4 on freight. Um, and this is actually a really fun map to play with uh, anything other than an assault rifle because a lot of times you don't get the chance to play with, with um, you know, a short range weapon because um, for, for a lot of the maps there's really no close range engagements um, so you kind of have to have an assault rifle, you kind of have to be ready at all times for those long range engagements. Um, but I find if you stick to the back of this map you can actually run a ground... Uh, those are my words. You can run around quite aggressively um, in the back of this map, and what you should be able to do is pick up, you know, a person here or there. Um, you guys will probably hear my dad talking on the phone in the background, so don't worry about that. Um, but no, this uh, this gun that I'm using right now is uh, the Bulldog or Bulldozer. I forget what what the the exact name of it is. It's the first shotgun in the class. Um, and if you use it correctly and you are able to, you know, keep your engagements to a minimum um, at long range, then you should be able to do just fine because the gun is actually really good. Um, you'll see me using it with specialists, so I have dead eye and everything like that at this point. But um, if if you use it, you know, to its ability, you can you can actually get really good gameplay with it. But you have to have the right map. So, like I said earlier, this map is great for it, but not a lot of them are. Um, the assault rifles are like many SMGs. Um, you know, they're, they're long-range laser beams that happen to have really, really quick movement if you put on, like, the speed perks. So, what I found myself kind of falling into in my comfort zone at the beginning of the game was I was using, like, the AK-12, I was using the ARX-160, and I was using things like Stalker and Quick Draw and Ready Up, um, all the perks that allow you to use those guns like they were SMGs. Um, and I think it's a little bit overpowered at this point. I think it would be better if they made the SMGs either take down the recoil a little bit on the SMGs um, or increase the damage over range for the SMGs, and then it might give me, you know, more of a reason to go ahead and use them over an assault rifle. But at least for the moment, um, you know, five out of my six classes are an assault rifle class, um, two of which are the same gun, and, you know, the last class is just this one um, for, with my shotgun because a lot of times I'll use this class just to deter campers so if I know that somebody's gonna be sitting in the same corner for the entire game I'll actually take this class out and I'll go flank around them um, and just pop them one in the skull and that way they uh, they have no chance they can't really see it coming but um, I, I do default towards assault rifles and judging by the the people that I've actually run into in this game I think everybody is kind of on the same page with that um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not just me because I rarely find myself being killed by submachine guns and almost never ever being killed by shotguns. Um, the first entire week of playing this game, I was playing this game um, and I don't think I got killed one time by a shotgun. And then I remember, um, and I think my brother was actually sitting next to me when it happened. He, I got popped in the skull one really quick in, uh, in free for all. And I was like, oh my god, I just got killed by a shotgun. Like, nobody even uses these. Um, it actually encouraged me to go in and try the shotguns, so I, I did spend enough squad points to unlock them all. Um, and I played around with them quite a bit. And this one ended up being my favorite. The pump action needs, needs work. Um, so the... Uh, 
I no, I forget what the name of that the pump action shotgun is. If you guys remember, leave it in the comments. Um, but the the pump action is almost never a one hit kill. Um, for one reason or another, I cannot like like for example, this is a spam shotgun, right? This is the uh, it's kind of the equivalent to the striker uh, from Modern Warfare Three, and this has a better one hit kill range than the pump action. And I don't think that that's acceptable. I think that um, they need to work on rebalancing the weapons so that people are less inclined to just be using assault rifles um, instead of, you know, or in instead of just using assault rifles, that people are more inclined to play different ways. Because um, this is a very campy game. It's probably the campiest Call of Duty game to date. Um, and I would like to see that changed. Unless you're playing Cranked, which is awesome. Cranked is great because nobody's camping. Um, like you see that guy right there. So... Anyway, you have my two cents. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. It was actually a very close to... It was a chem strike fail. I got 22 kills uh, with a shotgun, and uh, I was pretty proud of that, but I'm going to keep working on getting a better one, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.